Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday in the 25th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise. Let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, May your glory shine on earth. <clears throat> they laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing. I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts, and say, he who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come, streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil. The sheep and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised. 
in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, through all of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were, at, they were outstanded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like wings of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice, your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice. And at the sight of your judgments, Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always, it is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohila. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which, the, which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever said stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on the place where it rises. Blowing down toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, resuming its sound. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does to the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been that will be, what has been done that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that is past, or as a wash of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. 
fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Please stand. And the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Here at the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has risen. But Herod said, John I beheaded, who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise <clears throat> to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Ano bang bago? Ano na ang uso? Ano bang bago sa buhay natin? Ano bang bagong nangyayari sa paligid natin? Sa siguro sa mga bata, maraming bago. Siyempre, kasi bata pa, they have less experiences, they are still young, they are, everything seems to be new. Bago lahat. Um, sa kanta na lang. Isipin mo, sa, siguro sa mga bata, bago lahat. Sa, sa medyo may edad na, parang hindi na. Um, nung minsan lang, isang araw, I was in a car, was listening to the radio, narinig ko isang kanta bago. Ala, ako narinig doon sa kanta, kundi lamok. <laughs> lamok ng lamok ng lamok. Ulit ang ulit, lamok, lamok, lamok. Bago. <laughs> iba na, iba ng kanta ngayon, di ba? Paulit-ulit na lang. Dati, nung, sa panahon ko, panahon ng marami sa atin siguro. Songs had a story to tell, di ba? Ngayon, wala. Paulit-ulit na lang. Makulit. Lamok. 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 So, I don't know. But maybe people find, you know, entertainment in that. Pero marami pa rin bago. Siguro sa mga bata, maraming bago. Computer games, so maraming bago niyan. Communication, dati, di ba? Pipindot kang tatlong beses sa isang key, or one or two or three times sa isang key sa cellphone para kang makakuha ng A or B or C. No? Multi-tap, tawag dun. From multi-tap, nagkaroon na ng QWERTY. Isa na lang, na doon ang lahat ng letra. Tapos nagkaroon na ng voice command. Pwede mo nang kausapin si Google o si Siri, depende sa cellphone mo. O kaya dati, uh, yun, yung spell mo, ngayon touchscreen na dati, nasa butones. No? Now it's on the screen itself. Bago. Sa pagkain, maraming bago. Dati, barbecue lang, ayos na. Nang makikita mo sa kalye, nang nagbebenta sa kalye, what you see in the street, barbecue, that's it. Now, you have kwek-kwek. Yung dating balot, niluto pa ulit. O dati, balot nga ba yun? Hindi ko lang. <coughs> niluto pa ulit. There are many other uh, new street food, no? Bago. Sa pananamit, dati, if you want a new pair of pants, you buy textile, you go to the tailor and have yourself fitted and so on, and he will make the pants for you. Nagbago, naging ang RTW. Punta ka na lang sa, sa 
department store, mamimili ka, gawa na. It's done. It's ready to wear. RTW. Tapos yan, siguro na nag, naging mahirap medyo ng konti ang pera. From RTW, naging ukay-ukay na lang. You go to the ukay-ukay. You go to buy used clothing. Still, okay naman yun, di ba? It's still wearable. Why not? You save a lot of money. Ukay-ukay. Now, online shopping. Online selling na. You buy na from the computer, from, from internet. Bago. Maraming bago sa mga bata. Pero pag matanda ka na, kahit bago pa yan, isipin mo, RTW, online shopping, ukay-ukay, damit pa rin yan. Di ba? QWERTY, touchscreen, cellphone pa rin yan. Yun na, wala na long distance ngayon, di ba? Kasi lahat pwede na. Pero hindi na, hindi na siya ganun ka-exciting. Wala na masyadong bago sa matatanda, sa mga tumatanda. Sabi nga ng, like the first reading said, di ba? Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. One generation passes and another comes. Paulit-ulit lang naman. Parang sinasabi na, ako narinig nyo na yun, sinasabi tungkol sa pagkain. Ano ulam niya sasabihin? Pangat. Pagkita mo, hindi naman. Di ba yung pangat? Isda yun. Pero pagkita mo, hindi naman isda. Chicken or something or pancit. Kaya pala pangat. Pangatlong beses nang inihain. Nire-recycle lang. Pangatlong beses na, na repurpose. Reuse, na re-recycle yung food. No, it's still okay. Pangat. Wala nang bago. Sa mga matatanda siguro, sa mga tumatanda, wala nang masyadong bago. Pero, nagkakaroon ang bago ay hindi na dun sa kasi ang bagong nakikita ng mas may edad, mas wiser, It's not so much the form or the how it appears or the price. A wiser person, an older person, a person will see something new in the value, not in the price, but in the value. Not in the appearance, but in the relevance. Anong significance? Anong meaning? Yun ang nakikita ng mas matatanda. Yun ang bago. At dapat ma-preserve natin yun. Dapat lagi tayong makakaya natin na makita lagi, makahanap palagi ng new value, new meaning to everything that we do. So that a sunrise will no longer be just a sunrise. A sunrise is another day in our lives. A sunset is not just at the end of the day. It's a time of thanksgiving for all the blessings that we have received, for everything that we have done. A new person that we meet is not just another individual. It's a human being. It's a reflection of God. It's a being of hope and promise. It's an opportunity for a new relationship, an opportunity to love, maybe to forgive, maybe to understand. As we grow, as we grow older, di ba? we become wiser. Nas, mas nakikita natin na yung mas malalang. Kumbaga parang nagkakaroon tayo ng magnifying glass sa mga mata natin. Mas nakikita natin kung ano yung mas importante. Why? Maybe because, and I, I'd like to believe because, God has become part of our lives. We have seen God. We have encountered God. Kaya nga doon sa mga tao, di ba, na walang faith. Parang wala na talagang bago. Everything is just, you know, sunrise to sunset and another person, another problem. Matatapos din yan. It's a, you know, a parang ano lang siya, paikot lang ng ikot ang buhay, no? But to a person who has experienced, has encountered, has met God, life changes. Life is new. There's also always something new in life. You always find something new, something more valuable, something more meaningful, something more relevant in our lives. Not only in our lives now, but in our lives in the next life, in heaven. We find something new. Mangyayari lang yun if God is with us now. Kaya nga siguro ang challenge is for us to to find God and 
make God part of our lives. Kaya nga, di ba si, dun sa gospel na binasa natin, Herod, sabi, Herod was always searching for Jesus. Kasi ang nakihinahanap niya si Jesus, ang nakita niya si John the Baptist. Hinahanap niya si Jesus, ang nakita niya si Elijah. Luma. Nakita niya. Hindi niya nakita yung bago. Bakit? Kasi wala pa sa kanyang Panginoon eh. He had not seen, really seen God. So all he could see was history, the past, the old things. If God is with us, we will see new things. God always makes things new. Diba? God always makes things new. Yung lumang bagay, with the eyes of God, with the lenses of God, they get a new meaning. They get a new purpose. They get new relevance. They are meant for something greater. And our lives become more exciting. Pare-pareho nangyayari, we still go to the same things, but it becomes more exciting. Because God is with us. So I guess the challenge is to find God and have God be part of our lives. To always look at things with the eyes of God. To always see in others or look at others with the eyes of God. To see in others God too. Makita mo sa mga naghihirap ang mukha ng Diyos. Sa mga bata, ang mukha ng Diyos. Kahit sa mga selbahe, ang mukha ng Diyos. Because they are opportunities for forgiveness and for love. To see with the eyes of God. And everything becomes new. Let us all stand now. We are aware that there is much evil in the world. Because Jesus has overcome evil by his death and resurrection, we ask God that goodness may be victorious. After each petition, we say, Let your light shine on us, Lord. Let your light shine on us, O Lord. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithful bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord that nations may give up the senseless race to have more powerful weapons of war, and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your light shine on us, Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your light shine on us, Lord. For our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world, and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil, and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, on earth as, it as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. <clears throat> Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should Lord. enter under my roof, only but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and He will save us from our enemies. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022, Sunday. Novena Masses will start tomorrow, Friday, September 23, 2022. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donations, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please all stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now bless the sick and your religious articles. Our help us in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.